Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be making smoked pompano dip. This is uh, it's a big green egg, but it's not a real big green egg. This is their Mini Max. And we have our um, plate setter in there to uh, create a indirect heat source. And we're going to um, fillet the uh, pompano and we're going to leave the skin on one side. We're going to get this up to about um, 200 degrees. Right now it's just a little below. We, we want to keep it low. We, we want to cook this. We don't want to cook this fast. It'll dry the fish out. So we're going to um, cook this nice and slow. And uh, once it gets up, probably to about 250 or so, I'll put the fish on. And then uh, we're going to show you how to make this pompano dip. So last week uh, we fried pompano. This week we're creating a dip. So we're doing a little bit different than what you normally see on these catch, clean, and cooks. But uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, that helps the channel to grow and more people to see it. And I'll be back in a little while to show you how to make this pompano dip. So my plan was to use a grilling tray, but it did not fit. You can see I have this at about 250 right now. I want to drop the temperature a little bit more. I want it to stay low as low as possible. So I put the fish directly on the grate, but I sprayed it down with um, uh, grilling spray olive oil. And um, you can see it's already starting to smoke. I'm not going to lift that up again. So we got two hours or so. I'll come back and uh, pull that off and we will make some dip with it. So it's stop saying so, damn it. It's been uh, two hours now and I've kept the heat pretty consistent between 200 and the 250 mark. And these guys are ready. They are coming off easily. So that smoked meat, as I was afraid, it kind of draws up. There's not a lot of, I mean, I think it's going to be okay, but I think it's going to take a second fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this down and keep this going. And I'm going to have to defrost a uh, another fish, I think, to, to get enough uh, to be able to, to do a full serving of the dip um so i don't know if you guys have noticed in earlier videos my cook, catch clean and cook but we uh this is our home uh the beach is about two blocks that way and um we live full time in an rv we're starting a new channel um this this uh video will actually be both on my papa Google. The second channel is called Adventure Before Dementia. <laughs> it's uh, the word adventure, the letter B, the number four, and then dementia. Okay, so our fish is smoked. This is um, two separate pompano that I've smoked and then broken up into little pieces. And for this fish dip, we're going to take Philadelphia whipped cream cheese, sour cream, mayonnaise, Lipton onion dry package soup. We're going to take Trinity of peppers and tomato Trinity, hot sauce. Salt and pepper. You combine all that, all the, these ingredients first into a mix, and then we're going to fold in the fish. There's the finished product. I didn't really measure anything. Um, I just took scoops of the cream cheese, um, pretty big scoop, scoop of the mayonnaise. We had to squeeze sour cream, so I just you know, squeeze out, eyeballed it, what I thought looked good, and then added the other 
dry ingredients to it and some uh, Texas Pete hot sauce. And this is the result. So we're going to make a little charcuterie board and share some information with you. So this is our living area. We're full-time RVers and we're going to kick off a new site called Adventure Before Dementia where we'll be showcasing uh, some, some of the RV parks in the area <clears throat> and the different amenities they have and we'll be doing cook, cooking shows, outdoor cooking primarily on the gas grill, the uh, big green egg and back there is the fire disc that was in the last video where you saw me frying the pompano but um, it's kind of a, a, a different choice to become full-timers and we're gonna give you tips and tricks on how to, how to uh, maximize your space and not trip over each other. The unit that we live in is, is a grand design solitude and it's 42 feet so it's, it's pretty big um, it's Sue Ellen and I and two dogs. Uh, we don't trip over each other too much. Uh, got plenty of space. And we'll do a run through the interior um, one of these days. Um, but this is this is where we live. It's about two blocks from the beach. Uh, beach is a short distance that way, south. This is Sue Ellen. Hi. Sue Ellen's a realtor in the area. She works for Cork and Revelry. I'll put a link to her email. If you're in the Destin, Miramar Beach, 30A area. From Pensacola area. to Panama City. Pan Pensacola to Panama City. If you're looking for a condo or a house, an investment property or a home, uh, hit I'm her up. Call me. Yep. I was telling them that we're full-time RVers mm -hmm. and that's what this channel is gonna be about. We're gonna talk about tips and tricks we're going to do some reviews of all the local RV parks. There's some that um, are, are more well-known than others. We're going to try to do the ones that are less well-known, and yeah. we're starting off with one on uh, the 30A area that just opened up. I think they got one person in there oh, wow. right now, and that's it. And they ha It's a luxury RV park. So we're going to go there this next weekend. I, sp I spoke with the owner, and we're going to kind of go through and look at all the amenities and and do a review um, and we'll put that online and, and let you see where it's located and that may be of interest to you. We'll also do restaurants. Restaurants, anything going on in town, anything outdoor exciting, activities. Uh, outdoor activities, maybe go up to Harbor Walk, um, just some of the tourist things that are here but then some of the different things that a lot of people don't see, that we see and it make it for a much more enjoyable trip to, to the Emerald Coast have some more ideas of what to do right. especially if it's a rainy day and you're stuck inside with kids <laughs> yeah so we'll do indoor activity as well as uh, all the things you can do like going to Crab Island everybody knows that but there's a lot of other things to do in the area that people don't know about so we're gonna highlight those um, my fishing channel Papa Guggen uh, we'll highlight some things on there what we did we kind of uh, we're gonna share this on both sites uh, we did this smoked pompano dip. It's delicious. It is. It is. And, um, you know, I would say there was a recipe. I showed you the ingredients earlier. I mixed it by sight. I didn't really measure anything. You just winged it. It's almost like making tuna salad. Yep. You know, eyeball it, uh, mix it all up. But everything is fresh. Yep. So that's pompano dip. Some of you are probably cringing if you're pompano snobs, which I used to be, but uh, we're trying different things with it now because we got a freezer full. Yep. <laughs> we do, but it's very tasty. Bruschetta, townhouse crackers, our favorite, olives, artichoke hearts, and some cheese. So we're ready to go. Orson. Orson. The Orson cheese. This is a, we're, we're going to have a light dinner tonight. This is our dinner. Yes, we ate a lot last night. <laughs> Heavy snacks. So we look forward to having this channel informing you guys on uh, the do's and don'ts and the pros and cons of being full-time RVers. We'll share with you later on our story and how we got here. And uh, we look forward to being with you guys and 
If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. Please. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll be putting content out there on a bi-weekly basis at least, a couple times a month, if, if not more. But our tagline is Adventure Before, before Dementia. dementia. <laughs> it's not just for old folks, but uh, for anybody. It's for anybody, but that's our motto in life is we're gonna we're not gonna have any dreams left un, unrealized. We're gonna do as much as we yep. can. And enjoy enjoy this gorgeous beach. Yep. So come down and join us and hopefully we can give you some ideas of what to do while you're here. And we look forward to seeing you again. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.